It's been nearly 24 hours since pro-Palestinian de demonstrators set up an encampment at Tulane. Tulane says five students have been suspended and they may suspend more. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Sharice Gibson. And I'm Katie Moore. The university is also warning any staff who participate that they could be fired. Today, classes in three buildings were moved online. Lily Cummings was the only local TV reporter there last night as Tulane police arrested the six protesters and she's joining us now live from Uptown. How are things going today, Lily? Hey, Sharice and Katie. Well, we did learn today that one of those six individuals that was arrested out here yesterday evening was a Tulane student. Now, I want to give you all a look at what is happening right now. We have seen this crowd significantly grow in the last few hours. Around noon, when you all had us live, around 50 demonstrators were out here. Now, they're saying the crowd is close to 200 or 300 demonstrators. If you can see over to the, the left here, this sign that was placed here by Tulane police that says private property, no trespassing. That was brought in around two this afternoon. They also put up some barricades with the help of NOPD. Now, they also have started playing um, some music on a loop that is trying to drown out the protesters. But as you can hear, they also have music going at this time. So a lot of different things happening here. But we did speak to several Tulane and Loyalist students throughout the day. Here's what they had to say about what's happened today. Demonstrators spent the night on the front lawn of Tulane University. Tulane senior Von Crandall woke to suspension via email. You may not attend class, participate in university sponsored or recognized event or activities, and you're prohibited from entering campus grounds. Crandall is one of many Tulane students protesting the war in Gaza. Crandall says her tent mate was arrested Monday when they tried to pitch a tent on campus. The police were quick and swift with it, but what I could not have expected and what I was overwhelmed to see was the immediate student response. Dozens of Tulane and Loyalist students and other community members linked arms, creating a barrier between themselves and police. It filled my heart with so much joy. State police and NOPD were on campus Tuesday, including NOPD superintendent Ann Kirkpatrick. Some Tulane students say the demonstrations have gotten out of hand. I think that any student group on campus can demand whatever they want from the university, can engage in any sort of free speech, but free speech does not include freedom to harass, intimidate, interrupt and assault students, and that's exactly what's happening here. Tulane senior Yasmin Ohepsian says her last day of classes were virtual due to the demonstrations. The university clearly cares more about these protesters than they do about its students being able to have the experiences that we pay $70,000 of tuition a year to have. The organizers of the protest have a list of demands for both Tulane and Loyola universities, including divesting from Israeli corporations and protection for Palestinian and Arab students. <laughs> And guys, as far as Loyola goes, they did send out an email to community members this morning telling them that campus operations there were not impacted by this demonstration. They also said that LUPD is on hand to make sure that this protest doesn't move next door to Loyola's grounds. Reporting live in Uptown, Lily Cummings, WWL, Louisiana. All right, Lily, thank you. And according to Tulane students, According to Tulane, rather, students did not get a permit to host these protests. And coming up at 6, we'll take a closer look at what is and is not allowed on the campus. In other cities, protesters have tried to take over campus buildings. At Columbia University in New York, a banner reading Free Palestine now hangs from a window after university leaders say demonstrators against Israel's war in Gaza broke into the building overnight using hammers. Leaders at Columbia are threatening to expel student protesters and say seniors who participate won't be eligible to graduate. Today, House Speaker Mike Johnson said the National Guard may need to respond to some of these college protests. This thing is out of control, and the administrators who are allowing this need to be removed, and we've got to get control of these campuses. In, end of story. Despite the crackdowns, campus demonstrations continue to expand at Texas State University and the University of Washington. President Biden said in a statement that he respects the right to free expression, but says protests must be peaceful and lawful. He called the takeover at Columbia wrong. And we will have continuing coverage and for much of the afternoon, we'll provide live stream of the protests in the university area. You can find those and all the latest updates on our website, our free smartphone app, as well as our social media pages.